What's going on everybody and welcome back to the Wright State Basketball Dynasty here on NCAA Basketball 10 where we have our regular season finale. We are going to be returning home one last time. It's our senior day here at Wright State University. We will be taking on the Milwaukee Panthers in an attempt to get closer to 500. We're currently 13 and 15. We almost did it, but we've lost three of our last four games. And we need to get back on track, but hopefully we can get it done here. We have this home game, and then hopefully we can take some positive momentum into conference tournament play. As that determines if we can go dancing or not in the first place. So, real excited for that. So, if you're excited as I am, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's go ahead and jump into this game. Alright, so now we are just about ready to get things going here. It's our final regular season game and we are ready to get things underway now as Milwaukee's actually gonna win the tip off they're gonna try to pass it around we nearly steal that pass unfortunately they're gonna get to the lane and they missed our opening layup and so we're gonna try to get down court real fast crotch is gonna take one from deep and he misses his shot and so neither of us are gonna be able to score on our first possession but they're gonna go right down the lane and they're able to draw a foul on Grant Albert now he was able to make his two-point jumper but look at this nobody covers the point guard out there we dare him to shoot from three he drives anyway and he's able to get a foul call on Corey Hebert so now it's a five to two game there's um, Hebert's guy again he, this time he misses a shot we're gonna pass it up to Greg Albert and we get the bucket to go cutting it down to one a couple possessions later there's Milwaukee looks like Warley able to get that one to go and one able to uh, get them to double digits for this game as they try to send a nuke out from deep but they miss the nuke and so we're going to try to make them pay on the other and as Hebert makes the transition free ties things up at 10 we're looking to try and establish a lead here as there's Hebert deep again he hits his second three pointer in a row gives him six points and gives us the lead as there's Pat, Pat, no, that's Greg Albert, actually. My apologies, y'all. He uh, actually made the free throws, able to fight for that offensive board. As we, um, somehow he gets that one to go. He even gets the foul called. But he does miss the free throw, so the game will still remain tied regardless. As they're trying to pass the ball around, there's Marcus Lewis getting the foul call on him. So now... They make both of their free throws, and now it's a two-point game. We're going to try to pass it to Marcus Lewis in, like, the upper paint. But it gets picked off, and then there's a dunk on the other end, making it a four-point game here. About almost halfway through the first half as Milwaukee is really starting to find the rhythm, and we haven't really done the same yet. But that might change as we get the steal, and there's Marcus Lewis by himself, and he gets the bucket to go. Cuts it back down to a two-point game and it is a really close one. And we nearly get another steal. But unfortunately, they're able to somehow get that bucket to go. That should have been out of bounds on Buzz because it touched the top of the backboard. But I guess that's the game not really favoring us as there's Hebert anyways. Picking up the three as now we're down by three. As once again, that guy's left by himself. This time, he decides to pass it out into the paint. Gets that one to go, extends their lead to five points here as Hebert going from deep. Yes, sir. Hebert gets that one to go. It's a two, four point game here. As now we're looking to try to cut into his lead a little bit before halftime, but it's a nice spin move in the paint once again. And Milwaukee's looking to uh, really establish themselves with that paint game, but we're going to try to run. The other way is there's a spin move cycle by Eugene. And he gets that bucket to go and gets the foul. Man, take a look. There's Eugene out way out of no man's way. And he gets the spin move, gets to the paint, and gets that layup to go. What a beautiful move by the custom recruit. As we're looking to try to get the steal, we get it. We're going to try to pass it up to Corey Hebert. He gets fouled. And he is going to make both those free throws, so it's we uh, cut it to one. Then with 30 seconds left, they're able to get to the paint one more time, and that's going to actually do it. We're already at halftime, ladies and gentlemen, and we're down by five. 
in our final regular season game here in the Horizon League. And big reason why we're down is we're shooting under 40% from the field. That's simply not going to be acceptable. But, you know, there's not much we can do now. We're just hoping we can ring back second half. We missed that shot, but there's Patterson, thankfully, there to clean up the get glass. As now there's Greg Albert passing it out to Crotchet. He misses, however, Corey Heber is there. He makes his bucket. Is now a one-point game. But Milwaukee, they're not going to give up the lead back so easily. They get that bucket to go, and then they're going to pass it into the paint once again. Find, somehow is able to get it through there. Gets that bucket to go, and then we nearly get the steal. We narrowly miss. It's Greg Albert, he tries to get back. He's not in time. As he, we give up a bucket as a result of us gambling. And then there's a dunk on Greg Albert getting posterized. That gives them back the lead again. And there's another spin move as Milwaukee is trying to pull away. Somehow our boys are still fighting back though. We're still only down by four. As there's... Somehow gets that one to go. Guys all over them. They're just making anything that they want right now. Just really struggling here in the second half. But we might turn it around here as there's Eugene going the other way. We somehow get we get fouled. And we're able to get to the free throw line and make both our free throws. We're cutting it back to a two possession game. Four point lead. Joyce is going to try to make it a one point game. But there's Greg Albert. He picks up the board and gets fouled by Tyler Sherman. He makes both free throws. We're only down by two. Meanwhile, a couple possessions later, there's Albert. Getting into the lane, and it's a good shot. We get it to all tied up once again. We survived Milwaukee's run, and it might be our turn to go on a run of our own if we can actually rebound the ball, as somehow that guard was able to out-rebound three Wright State basketball players, get the offensive board, and put it back as Clarence Joyce is called for the foul here. Milwaukee's up by one. And then here we are in the other end. Somehow almost got that shot to go. I thought it was going to go in for a second. But instead it's going to be Eugene going the other way. He gets fouled again. And so now we have a chance to take the lead. And we do with those free throws. But we turn the ball right over. And now Milwaukee has a chance to bring the lead back. Back. They're going to try to pull up free. And they do miss it. But we almost didn't get the rebound. Thankfully, it was out of bounds. And they trying to get back to us. And there's Corey Hebert with the transition dunk as we're looking to capitalize on the momentum. However, this has just been a wild game. We're either getting highlight plays for us or it's a steal for them in the other way. Just really gambling today. Because we're just trying to keep this lead going as there's Hebert. He hits a three. We got it up to six with four minutes left to play. But they're not giving in as they get a free of their own to go. It's now three points. And then they get another three-pointer to go right there. It's now down to a two-point game all of a sudden with a few minutes left. Can we hang on as they get to the paint here? We get the block, but there's a guy right behind him. He gets that bucket to go. They tie the game. But after Wright State getting their bucket, there's a step back three from Downs. Oh my goodness, what a clutch shot. So now we're looking to try to get some points of our own. And there's Patterson coming through and nearly gets it to go, but he is fouled. So we do make the first free throw. It's up to us to make the second free throw. Oh, and it's no good. It's tied at 74 here with one minute and 30 seconds left here in this ball game. We got to get a stop here, and they're going right to the paint, and they get the foul called on Eric Patterson on the other end. Same dude that mi missed the final free throw, as Wisconsin actually misses both of their free throws here, so it's still a tied ball game. We still have a chance here to take the lead as we're looking around to see if anybody's open. I'm going to pass it to Crotchet. Crotchet doesn't necessarily, he's going to pull up for a midi actually, but there's Patterson again, and he doesn't get it to go either. So it's still a tied ball game here. They're going to try to keep it same as they pull for a midi. And the midi is good with 40 seconds left as we're looking around trying to pass it. We nearly turn it over. Greg Albert is going to come in the clutch for us, however. Tie this ball game up at 76 points. As Hebert, he's looking around. It's Crotchet at the wing. It's good. So we're up by three. We just got to get one last stop on this possession. Can we get it done here? We almost get the turnover. 
but it's passed into the corner instead, and it's good. So it's a tie ball game at 79. We have one more chance to win the game, and Corey Hebert misses it. Pattersonville gets the rebound and is just short. So it looks like we're going to be going into overtime, ladies and gentlemen. It's tied at 79. We got a five-minute overtime period left to play here as Milwaukee once again will win possession as now Vera's trying to get into their offensive set, trying to get some motion. They get it off to the paint as Louis Eugene picks off the pass. And so now it's Wright State trying to run. Patterson looking around, passing to Albert, back to Eugene, back to Patterson again. We try to get to the paint, and it's no good. But later on, though, there's Crotch, and he gets that one to go, and we get the free throw as well. So it's now a three-point game for us, as now with Eugene, he gets it to Albert. He's open. He gets that one to go in. As we're starting to pull away here a little bit, we're up by five. As we try to get the uh, turnover, we nearly got it, but instead he gets a fadeaway free to go. Yeah, rest in peace, Kobe, with that Kobe fadeaway. But Corey Heber is going to answer right back and bring the lead back up to five here. As now we're they're trying to get some sort of offense, but they are really struggling here in overtime. And now it's an opportunity for us to take the lead even longer. And we got it up to a seven-point game. And then here they come. We're going to run the fast break again. They miss another shot. No one accounts for Crotchet. And he gets that one to go. And that is going to seal it, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to walk away from our final Horizon League game. Winning this one 95-86. to 86. It was a really good game. It was a close game. As you can see, our players of the game and Grant Albert in this one, ladies and gentlemen. But that's going to do it here folks that's for the final game in this regular season in season one and Corey Hebert absolutely went off he dropped 33 points on these boys on the way to our victory also got some help from Grant Albert who had a double double 18 and 11 Nathan Crotchet despite struggling from the field he was 6 for 22 he still managed to get 16 points and then our custom recruit in Lewis Eugene had 10 points. And then as well as some great contributions coming off the bench as well. As you know, we did a solid job out there. And I certainly cannot complain whatsoever as we got the dub in overtime. Taking a look at the Horizon League bracket as we are at the end of the regular season. And we ended up finishing third in the conference. But that means we got to play four games in or and there are four games between us and a berth to the NCAA March Madness tournament if we had those first two seeds it would have been a lot easier for us we could have had a double buy but it is what it is though we didn't do enough to get those buys and we're gonna have to play our way through I'm really excited to get after it though because I love me a good challenge I'll see you guys for the next episode though as we play this game definitely and if we win that game we'll also play the quarterfinals game in the next episode so make sure you smash that like button hit me up in the comments below and if you're brand new to the channel as well i encourage you to subscribe so we got plenty of college gaming content coming your way until then i'll see you guys next time take care everybody